Hello everybody, welcome to the first ever episode of Hypixel UHC myth busting. Well, before we get into this, uh, today's myth, I want to quickly shout out Excisuma Void, from which I took the myth busting aspect of this video, and Palika, who previously tested some of the myths I thought about. So I'll li leave links to their uh, channels in the description down below, and without further ado, let's just get straight into the myth. So I was watching Wisp's most popular video, getting sharpness 10 in Hypixel UHC. And I wondered, well, what is the highest level of sharpness that you can get in Hypixel UHC? You know, either through very high luck or through pure skill. So I assembled this little contraption you see right here that will give us different sharpness level swords. I'm going to tell you why this wool is here to mark some things. So yeah, we can start by basically getting the best sword we can get without the use of expert seal. This here is a sharpness 6 diamond sword which will represent a sharpness 5 dragon sword in Hypex 3 HC. Uh, I'm extremely sorry by the way for the inaccuracies this video will have due to dragon sword not being in the core game so therefore I cannot really do it 100% accurately but this should give us relatively similar results to what it would be in Hypex UHC. So if you expert seal it once, so this is the solo max, you can get a sharpness 7 sword. So this is uh, without the usage of any luck, you just get like a sharpness 5 dragon sword and an expert seal in Hypixel solo UHC probably. Uh, but this is definitely too far from what we can get in T. So if you skip two levels, that means that both of your teammates also made their expert seals which leaves us with a sharpness 9 sword which is also the equivalent of a sharpness 8 dragon sword so um, this right here sharpness 9 is the highest level you can get and it gives us 18.25 attack damage that's not even half of the health of an unarmored person so we take her take the luck we make three dices of god as our teammates do you get it you will get expert seal you put it on sharpness 10 your second teammate does it he gets it we get sharpness 11 and your third teammate does it and we get a sharpness 12 now this right here is extremely rare it probably will never be done unless a whole lobby of people gather around to make this sword so if we hop into the Hypixel UHC lobby, we can see how many extra ultimates there are in this game. So the chances to get the expert seal is 1 in 27, as Dice of God basically has equal weights for every single one of these extra ultimates you see here. So that leaves us with 1 out of 27 chances to get the expert seal from Dice, times 1 out of 27 for your second teammate to get the expert seal from Dice of God and also once more for your other teammate to get it. So this equation right here determines the percentage chance for your entire team to get expert seals out of dice 3 times out of 3. The result of this equation is 0 0.00005 which is ridiculously rare and will probably never be done unless a whole lobby of people works together. But there's a thing we didn't put into these equations which is the strength bot. So if we multiply 22, the attack damage of this godly sword, and 2.6, we should be able to find the true maximum damage we can do deal in Hypixel UHC. So if you drink a strength 2 pot and wield this sword, you can deal up to 57.2 damage to an unarmored person using this sword. But what would this sword do to a guy with full iron armor. As you can see, full iron grants 60% protection against all damages. So let's see what this sword would do against full iron. So if we multiply 57.2 with 0 0.4, we get 22.88, which is the maximum amount of damage this sword can deal while the person wielding it has the effect strength to towards a guy with clean iron. This sword is able to two-tap any iron you see in the game. 
But what if luck wasn't a thing and you, you didn't get any expert skills from your dice of God and you instead crafted them? This sword, unlike this one, does not require a ridiculous amount of luck and can be done in almost any game consistently. So how much damage would this sword, combined with strength 2, deal to an unarmored person? The answer to that question is 47.45. With either of the swords, you're able to one-tap any unarmored guy. But what is the difference between the two? The main difference between these two swords are this one requires a ridiculous amount of luck and can two-tap any clean iron on full HP, but this one can sadly not two-tap any full iron on full HP. Thank you guys for watching this video and do not forget to drop a fat sub if you've enjoyed it. I'm thinking of making this into a full series, so if you guys have any myths in mind, do not forget to comment them down below. I'll be picking some comments in the comment section and I'll be making videos about them in future episodes. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day!